What's going on guys, Winter Kills here and welcome back to a, another open game state video. Real quick, I want to say thank you guys for 8,000 subscribers. That's absolutely bonkers. Uh, so I really appreciate all the support over the past few years um, that we've been doing this. Uh, I just, I can't believe 8,000 subscribers. It, it, it blows my mind every time we hit a new milestone like that. So I really do appreciate that. I just wanted to get that out here at the start of the video. So thank you guys for 8,000 subscribers. We continue on the way to 10,000. And uh, I plan, I'm not going to do uh, any sort of special thing for eight or 9,000 um, because I'm sort of saving resources uh, until we get to 10,000. I have some pretty big plans for 10,000 subscribers. Uh, as like via giveaways and things of that nature so now we'll go ahead and get into the video basically Raphael Neven here from the Netherlands using his Luna Light deck basically won YCS Chicago out of 1566 people that's incredible YCS Chicago reminds me a lot of uh, YCS Milan uh, mainly because a lot of people showing up which is always great to see regardless of the event and uh, we also have a sort of a uh, uh, an upset a unexpected deck ends up taking the first place spot uh, last time it was prank it is a major upset and now we're seeing Luna lights this time around now they say it's Luna lights here in this sort of uh, this article but there was a little bit of a, a little extra help laden into this Luna light deck now what might that extra help be you might ask well of course it's none other than everybody's favorite splashable archetype nowadays which is dangers dangers everywhere we see it here in the top 32 which by the way was very diverse but also at the same time not a whole lot and when we take a look at it we have 10 sky striker 9 danger thunder dragon and 1 pure thunder dragon which is nice to see uh 2 sub terror 2 crusadia which i believe were guard dragon crusadia uh 1 trick star 1 prank kids 1 abc 1 cyber dragon 1 pendulum magician 1 danger just pure danger um not sure how that worked out for that guy that just seems interesting just pure danger um not even danger dark world just pure danger i guess one danger Orcus and one danger Luna Light. So, apart from seeing your usual suspects here like Sky Striker and Thunder Dragon, which I would have expected to be the most represented here, no Alter Geist, of course. I feel like with all these other decks having so much uh, support and so many of these other like tier two sort of not meta decks having a sort of viable way to play this format and just being very competitive overall, I feel like. Playing Striker or Thunder Dragon is just a bit of a better bet versus Altergeist. Maybe that's why it fell out of favor here in the top. Um, I'm assuming there's probably a lot of Altergeist at YCS Chicago in general. But I think it's nice to see, regardless, all this uh, diversity. And, you know, we still see your, you know, again, Prime Suspect, Sky Striker, and Thunder Dragon in danger making into the top. Uh, you know, seeing Sub Terror with Guru, the Crusadia stuff with all the new. Um, Guard Dragon stuff being very good. Trickstar going on hit, still have Reincarnation Droll. Prank Kids being one of those decks that still not a lot of people suspect. And could you imagine if Prank Kids would have topped again, or not even topped again, but won again? Uh, that would have been like mind blowing. Prank Kids topping twice in a row. I still are winning twice in a row, I should say. But one thing I, I'm surprised we haven't seen yet is like, I don't think Sky Strikers won like a major YCS yet. And if it has, I missed it because I just don't think we've seen that happen yet, which is kind of crazy to see. It's still really one of the most represented decks, but it always seems to like make it to the very top and then just fall short in the last couple of rounds, uh, which is just interesting to see. Uh, one Cyber Dragon, of course, you know, the deck still has a lot of really good play styles for going first and second, so I'm not really surprised to see that. Pendulum Magician just doesn't die, apparently. Um, Danger, Danger Orcus, which is nice of Orcus getting new Orcus Nightmare and Borload Savage Dragon. I'm very familiar with the deck, so I'm really happy to see that there. I play Danger Orcus myself, um, so that's nice to see that it's a, it's a YCS level deck. And then Danger Lunalite, of course, the, the, the uh, what ended up being the winner of the entire event, of course. I don't think anybody expected that. And uh, we have a a lot of people probably feeling that Luna Lights is going to be like maybe the go-to deck now, which I just don't think is the case. I feel like one of the main reasons a deck like Danger Luna Light was able to win, and we often see this a lot with, uh, you know, decks that sort of come out of nowhere and win events, is because people aren't ever really prepared to play against a deck like that because you don't know how the deck operates and, you know, trying to learn how the deck plays on the fly in that match can be very hard to do and adapt to. Um, just because you don't, you're just unfamiliar with it. It's a surprise factor, and that ends up what uh, gives you the advantage most of the time is the surprise factor. 
Not necessarily that Lumalites are better than Sky Strikers overall. It's just the surprise factor going forward um, that throws your opponent off more so than the deck's actual ability to be, you know, a very top tier contender. Maybe from now on we'll start to see uh, bits of Lunalite being uh, in the tops with danger. So that that could be very very interesting. But the one thing besides, you know. I love the fact that we have all this diversity here in top 32, but the other thing that sort of concerns me a little bit is the fact that we're starting to see danger being, like, so, so prevalent. Uh, it's It almost seems like every deck nowadays is trying to throw incorporate danger in it in some way, shape, or form, and I think dangers going down the road are going to be very, very bad for the game uh, just because they're so generic splashable in like literally everything can trigger graveyard effects they get effects when they hit the graves themselves so it doesn't matter if they even hit the other cards you're trying to hit with them like in decks like ba or orcus you know they're still gonna get their effects it, it just you know i think it's like unhealthy for the game almost it's nice to see like it's sort of a dichotomy here with lycs chicago in my personal opinion tons of variety right that's great and all but then we have like you know there's just lots of danger being thrown in on almost every deck you know, nine danger decks, you know, including Danger Thunder Dragon, a pure danger. So we have nine, 10, 11, 12 danger decks in top 32. 12 danger decks, or at least decks involving danger in some way, shape, or form. I think going forward, uh, I just hope dangers are addressed at some way, shape, or form in the ban list. And what do you really do uh, to dangers? I think the best way to deal with them is like hitting cards like uh, Suchinoko and Nessie. Uh, down to one because of course there's tons of other dangers that still can be used but they just aren't nearly as potent as uh you know nessie and suchinoko because those ones search you know suchinoko gets summoned regardless of the outcome uh, all these things so i feel like dangers are something like are fine now sort of speak but like going forward it just seems like it could just get way too out of control and i've seen tons of other people talk about this uh in other youtube videos and like some people in my twitch chat um, and in Discord, like, just people talking about how dangers are just unhealthy and going forward, they could just be very, very bad. And then down here towards the very end, it says, besides those two major decks, there are 10 other strategies here, with one or two representatives each, Subterrors, with Subterror Guru, and a new control strategy, and Crusadia are now making waves with the addition of the Guard Dragon. So I actually picked up Crusadia Guard Dragon, so you guys can expect to see some of that stuff going up soon, deck profiles and duels. But, uh... Yeah, I think going forward, there's tons of contenders in this format right now, which is great to see. So it's indicative of a good format, but like I said, there's also like a looming problem at hand. And I think going forward at, on stream today, I had to play against a lot of uh, the Phantom Knight's uh, quick play rank up card going into Azathot, uh, which I think is probably what the Luna Light deck was using because I think there was Phantom Knights in there as well. And that is just unfair, that combo. The fact that you can go into Bardiche and set it immediately from your deck to go into next turn over top of something like Breaksword um, or even the new Time Thief monster. Time Thief, Phantom Knight could be a, a big problem. I think Sky Striker is surprising to see so many, even with Eradicator coming back. But overall, you know, Eradicator, of course, is a very, very good counter to Sky Striker. But it's just the simple nature of having to play a deck that can use. Uh, Eradicator to its fullest extent and then not losing to everything that isn't Sky Striker uh, is becomes a big issue so a lot of people I think were afraid uh, that Sky Striker had taken a hit necessarily with uh, Eradicator coming back to three but I feel like as a Sky Striker player you, you're not you, you just aren't really too worried about that because I mean just take a look at this and not a, I feel like if you're going into this format to expect to beat Sky Striker with Eradicator um, especially in an event like a YCS like, you just gotta hope, you know, you're gonna be playing against Sky Striker all day, or else your Eradicator virus play isn't gonna do too much. And overall, the decks that can play Eradicator aren't very good uh, in general, and I feel like compared to all these other decks. And like I said, if you're not if you're not playing against Striker and you have Eradicator, you're just not in too good of a spot to begin with. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Just wanted to go ahead and give my thoughts on the, uh, the event that had taken place. Uh, congratulations to this guy, of course. And uh, super excited to see all these decks going forward and see how they'll evolve in upcoming YCSs and regionals and things of that nature. And uh, hopefully we continue to see this diversity and hopefully we see dangers not being um, used so much. But like I feel like that's just the way it's going to go 
Um, and maybe we'll see this addressed in a ban list at some point in the future because I feel like dangers are one of those things that it just takes not too much for it to become a huge problem at some point in the future. Uh, same thing with Saryuja. Saryuja is one of those cards that I feel like longest time was okay, but then more and more decks start abusing it, and then it's like, okay, well, now this might actually have to get dealt with on the ban list. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And as always, when I kill the sign out, we'll see you in the next one.